What's going on, everybody? Sneaker at 89 one back again. Uh, bear with me. I'm trying to still work this camera out. But um, as you can see, I've been slipping on these updates. Uh, got a lot of little goodies in here. Pretty much got everything, man. I got my invertebrates, my cleaner crew, my um, my livestock. I got a bunch of different type of coils in here, too. Tank's been running for about two weeks. Um, my my cycle was real quick, man, real short. I was dosing with a uh, microbacter from Brightwell. Um, I'm still doing that. I do that for my freshwater and my saltwater tank now. Um, not saying that. Uh, not saying that like that's the reason why, you know, my cycle was so quick. But I got ammonia spike like within three days, three four days, and. Um, I think the highest I ever tested it for was like 15 parts per million, and, uh, and that's when I, uh, as soon as that dropped was when I first added my, um, man, I'm dead right now, I added my uh, four line damsel, four stripe damsel, and I uh, had him in there for about just a couple days, took him out, um, I actually added a coil before anything, I added this uh, Kenya tree up here. I figured if I killed it, man, it was probably a better thing um, than anything. But um, that thing did not die. It actually doubled in size since I put it in here. I tried to get the smallest one I could find, but uh, that thing's really been taken off. Um, after that, I, I added my first uh, fish, or second fish, I guess you could say. These two, um, these two fish right here, those are ORA caramel clowns, and uh, I guess they just call them caramel because um, they are black clowns, but they're just not colored up all the way. And mine are almost black. They just have like a little bit of orange on them. Um, one is just a tad bit bigger than the other. I try to get them as close to the same size as possible just to eliminate aggression but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get that um, RA is pretty good with you know captive bred fish so they're real hardy and uh, you know if I kill a clownfish then I'm pretty sure everything else in my tanks gonna die before them um, I got a bunch of easy corals I got one I only got one pinch much intermediate coral kinda harder to take care of I guess you could say not harder I mean everything's pretty much easy just not as easy as the other ones, I guess. Um, we'll go ahead and get in there. Actually, let me run down my tank, my tank specs, I guess you could call it. Um, so this is the Innovative Marine 30 gallon uh, by 30 gallon. What do they call it? The Micro Nuvo. Um, just the tank and stand. Uh, the light is by uh, is an Aqua Illumination Nano. And this thing does light up my whole tank. I think right now my lights are uh, 40 all across the board. Uh, 40 white, 40 blue, 40 ro royal blue. Let me turn the lights on real quick. Uh, only mods or any, any additional equipment I added was uh, two power heads. One on the top up here and one on the bottom shooting through the back of my rocks. Um, I added a protein skimmer from BioCube. It's been working well. A lot of people complain about this type of equipment, man. But, I mean, if it does the job, it does the job. Um, there's a bunch of different, uh, what do you call it, little chambers in the back. Um, I got my stock filter media here. Got my other stock filter media here. There's another chamber here is where I got my skimmer. And then there's actually another chamber right next to... Uh, right next to my other filter media and I have these little nitrate cubes and I just got that sitting in there and I got one more chamber <clears throat> but it's worth is where my uh, air pump goes from my filter um, so I got a bunch of little goodies in here guys I got uh, this green star polyp was the second coral I ever got um, really been taking off I think this thing will probably be one of the last things that ever dies if anything ever goes wrong with my tank but um from what i hear it's really really uh sensitive to any type of fluctuations in your water um parameters but i have like new polyps already like a ton of them i want to say like 20. the stuff has just been shooting off like this mucus looking stuff 
and it's just been shooting off new polyps. This is, a, like I said, this is the second coral I got, and I got two corals within the first week and a half of this thing starting up. And the rest of the corals I just got yesterday and today. I got my cleanup crew yesterday and today. Um, so I just got my first little diatom bloom a couple of days ago. Got some algae growing. Um, my cleanup crew is just a bunch of snails and uh, two hermit crabs and inverts, inverts. Uh, I got an arrow crab, man. Last night, I was looking in my tank, and uh, man, I have a bristle worm infestation like nobody's business, man. I got a ton of them, so I had to add this little arrow crab in here. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see him. That's one of his little legs right there. Um, he was snacking on some, what do they call that stuff? That frozen emerald delight. I was trying to give to my clowns, but he snagged a piece. But tonight I'm expecting them to go to business to, uh, you know, eat up those bristle worms. Um, so, let me see. That was my second coral. My third coral was these zoas right here. I just really, really, really wanted some zoas. I just got these yesterday. And they opened up, like, within 15 minutes of adding them in my tank. And uh, LEDs and cameras don't really get along, as you can see. Because, I mean, the colors that I'm seeing is a whole lot brighter than probably what you're seeing. So that was my third coral. My fourth coral I just got today. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. I got three today. I got this uh, beautiful piece of rock with just a bunch of, I think there's three type of zoas on here. Um, like Eagle Eye, Superman. Nah, I'm probably wrong. And then some other thing, I don't know the name of, it's this one right here. It actually looks kind of funny to me. And I think there's some pieces on here that are kind of dying off. Um, maybe dying off or just haven't opened. But I try to frag it like right away because there's a bunch of loose, um, there's a bunch of loose stuff on there. I'm probably going to have to take a look at it again tomorrow. But uh, I try to frag this piece off and I glued it to this piece of rock and nothing has happened. And it's not purple at all. The skeleton is actually white, so I'm thinking it probably was dying. Um, this one right here kind of has like a little tint of purple. So I'm thinking maybe that one will come back, hopefully, maybe. Uh, maybe you guys know Zoa's with the white skeleton. Is there any hope? Um, if not, I can definitely take that piece out and start trimming off all the ones that are actually white. Um, I got some mushrooms, about three of them on this piece of rock. There's one right here, real nice looking mushrooms too. One right here, and there's one more right here. They're not fully open actually. Um, they're a lot bigger in the fish store. They're just taking their sweet little time, I guess, in my tank. I just added these things in here like literally just a couple hours ago. And uh, man, super excited about this guy right here. Uh, this is the one I was saying is probably my hardest coral I guess I got in here. This is a Duncan coral. Um, pretty new to the States. Um, I know that I guess they're pretty pretty big in like Australia and you know the Asian Pacific but um, still kind of new in the States. Uh, I bought it with about five heads on it and it's actually have growing a sixth head right now. Right and ooh, can't get this focus down there. Right in there somewhere. And I can't really get it on camera. Alright, there it is right there. It's getting its sixth head. So six head dunking. That's pretty beast. And I guess pretty much average price for those things is like fifteen dollars a head. Just depending on how big it is. Easy. So uh that's pretty much where I'm at. So uh, hit me up. You got any questions? This saltwater stuff is pretty easy, man. Um, hope I don't jinx myself, but that's going to do it for me. Take it easy.